welcome to Low Carb Cocktails. I'm Frank, the Low Carb Cocktail Guy. And I have joining me today, my wife, Kelly. I like to call her the Low Carb Cocktail Gal. She's the reason we got this started. Today's National Wine Day. Wine. So to celebrate National Wine Day, we're gonna make a sangria, a low carb sangria. So it starts off with um, just a dry white wine. And if you, I've done a review video on JD's Blanc de Bois by the uh, Landry Vineyard here in Louisiana. You can check out that video right here. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the wine, the taste of it. Um, really not a big wine person. Kelly drinks more wine than I do. Um, I found that the more I drank this, the better it tastes, um, or the more I, more I liked it, I should say. Um, so it's a really good dry white wine. Uh, the carb count here is about three and a half grams of carbs per four ounce serving. So and we'll give it a carb count of the sangria in a few minutes. So let's go ahead and get this started. In your pitcher, you put one bottle of dry white wine. There you go. Next, we're gonna go with the rum. Where's the rum at? I left the rum over there. I'll be right back. <laughs> And I'm back with the rum using Captain Morgan's white. It was on sale for $10.99. Can't beat that. What we'll be using, we'll be using two cups of Captain Morgan's white rum or any white rum, light rum you have. And this is a half cup measuring, so of course it'll be four of these. Two cups of light rum. Next we do is we're going to be doing one cup of sweetener. We'll be using Splenda. Let me get a Splenda canister. <clears throat> now Splenda will have carbs because it is a sucralose. It's not a, a erythritol. And if you use your erythritol, you're going to have to play with that stuff. It re-solidifies. you got to kind of watch that. So we're going to do one cup of Splenda. There. Put this aside, which is a bar spoon. We get this blended up really quick. I'll take that one. And we're just, uh, no, I don't have the ginger ale yet. Now, the splendid dissolves really well in um, warm or room temperature liquids, at least the baking splendid, that's what I use. Uh, if you buy the granulated, like the packets, um, not so much, but the granulated that you find in the big large bags, that dissolves and pretty good in, in that safe. So next we're gonna add some fruit. So we're gonna start off with what we got first. Nice. Lemons. So this is what's it what's that the recipe? We have six, six lemons sliced. Six lemons sliced. Uh, six lemon slices. What's next? Strawberries. And what do eight we have? large strawberries. Eight large strawberries, and those are also sliced. And last is going to be peaches. Peaches. Well, one peach we pitted and quartered. Now, we didn't want to put too much of the peach in it because the lemons and the strawberries on a low carb diet, they're fairly low. Uh, the peach is not so much. So we're only going to be using one peach, but I will be adding Monin's peach syrup. I'll um, have one ounce of this to get a little bit deeper peach flavor to it all. Now, this particular one, this is their zero calorie natural sweetener. And let me say this up front, um, I didn't pay for this product. They sent me uh, several, I think it was like 10 syrups total to sample, try out, to see how I liked them with cocktails um, and tell you guys whether I liked them or not. And so far, I've liked every single one. And I have tried um, other, other company syrups. Um, so far, what I like about Monin is it's made with erythritol, which is a sugar alcohol. Um, it, it doesn't absorb into your body, so you don't have to worry about that. What a Splendid does, uh, because it's sucralose, the, um, being erythritol, it won't absorb into your body like uh, most other artificial sweeteners do. Um, and you can also deduct those sugar alcohols as a net carb. So um, according to them, this has less than one net gram of carb per ounce. And in the natural sweeteners, it's a blend of uh, erythritol, stevia, and monk fruit. 
So that's kind of how this goes. And I've made several cocktails with this. It is delicious. So we're going to go with one ounce, which is going to be four pumps. And I just completely missed. Let's try that again. Let's bring this up. Hold that for me. One, two, three, four. I made a mess. All right. So we're just going to start it up a little bit. All right. The last thing we're going to add is a little ice. And some ginger ale. This is not my day. And I've really not drank yet. And my dog is coming to run for the dropped ice. So there and ginger ale, which I have left over on the counter as well. And I'm back with the ginger ale. One 12 ounce can of diet ginger ale. Give that a good start again. Okay, and while I wipe this up, then grab two wine glasses, or two glasses of your choice, wine glass, one or the other. Since we're using a lemon base with this, with this, the most fruit, we'll go ahead and garnish this with a little lemon wheel on each. And let's go ahead and see how this came out. Now, if you let this sit in your refrigerator um, best overnight, um, those fruit, fruit flavors will really get to emulsify a lot more so than drinking it right away. So let's see how this is. Man, that is delicious. That is, this is the second sangria I've made ever. This is by far my favorite. Um, I'll definitely get some of that. It's sweet, really sweet. Almost, uh, I don't know. You can definitely get a strawberry in there. Mm -hmm. You can definitely get a lemon. The lemon's really forward. Uh, the peach is kind of subtle, but it's there. I think adding that peach syrup really helped bring some of that peach flavor into this. So, but this is really good. The wine's not up in your face. The rum's not up in your face. You can tell it's a little boozy, but it's not over boozy. Um, and this is a great, great summer drink. Um, easy to make. We made this in less than 10 minutes. Uh, so guys, um, enjoy National Wine Day. Here's to National Wine Day. Cheers. And uh, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Tell us what you like about our videos. Tell me what you don't like about our videos. Um, and hey, don't forget to subscribe. And please share our videos. If you like what we do here, um, tell your friends about it. Show your friends. Uh, let's spread the word. Let's get me higher up in the ratings. And um, so more people can find me. Y'all have a great day.